everybody, Grandpa Cotton. What's going on today? Hey, I'm tired. I thought I might as well make a video this morning. Uh, this is, I'm cutting up a wild pig that was killed. And uh, I want to take y'all through some of the process. Uh, if y'all don't know, I know there's a book of y'all out there that follow me know all about hunting and fishing. That's what we're, uh, we're all about. But uh, on pigs, they got a lot of I'm doing this inside because I got an outside kitchen and I also got an outside out there where I do all my fish. But man, it's cold here in Wilmer, Alabama today. It is cold. And I don't feel like sitting out in the cold on all these blood thinners. But anyhow, uh, a pig's got a lot of natural fat on him and what I'm making today is sausage. And uh, I'm going to take y'all through all that. But, we, you know, we're going to skip a bunch of process. I mean, you know, hit and miss with y'all. Uh, this is what I use right here. Old plantation sausage mix. I use old plantation sausage mix, a little sage and cayenne pepper. And you can put anything you want in sausage. You can put, uh, you know, you can put chunks of jalapeno. You put anything in it. It don't matter what you put in. You put anything you want to in sausage. But I'm gonna tell y'all something. Wild hog meat is very clean. I know. I've heard people say, "Man, I wouldn't eat one of them things." Let me tell you something. There ain't nothing wrong with wild pig. Old boar, now he's he's strong. I mean, you don't want to really keep an old boar. You wanna you wanna try to keep a young pig, kill a young pig, and see it's got a lot of tendons and all in the meat. And I trim out a lot of tendons now. This uh, grinder I got right here, I've had it for years. You know, you don't have to get all the tent, you know, all the little pieces out of it because it's gonna hang up in that grinder wheel and. It'll roll around that grinder wheel where you have to clean the grinder, but for the most part, part it'll squeeze it all through there. But say you want to leave some of that fat off a pig. On a deer, you want to clean all the meat up on a deer. You know, you don't want none of that old deer tallow on that, on your sausage or nothing else. Uh, on a hog, you want to clean him up. I mean, you don't have to be as particular with a pig. So all that right there, we're going to trim all that off. All that'll come off from you. As long as you got you a good sharp knife like this, you can just run in fillet knife. It's an antique knife, I mean, from Holland over there, or Germany or somewhere. I mean, you can't even make one of them, get one of them no more. I don't, I can't even read the writing. It's in German. It's got a crest and all on it. It's made by Butler, I think, but that's the name on it. But you want to be sure you trim all your, yeah, most ex, you know, most everything get off from them, but. I'm just letting y'all know what I'm doing today. I'm going to make a video on how I make my sausage and the grinding process. We're going to hit and miss on it and talk about it a little bit. That's what we're going to do today. So I'll be back with y'all, man. Let me get this thing cut up. I always cut mine up in small pieces. Right here, you know, big little smaller chunks. And I run them through my grinder. And then I mix all my seasons together. But hey, we're going we're gonna to figure it out. But anyhow, I'll be back with you in a little bit. About an hour or so, let me get this thing cut up and I'll show y'all how to make sausage. All right, I'm back. Right now we put some, we're gonna cook these little ribs off this thing. I got some pork rub on there. A little bit of everything. Y'all see that? That's that connected season I'm talking about. There's two different kinds. You got that kind there for pork. We're gonna be using some of that in our, uh, in our sausage. And then we had the other kind, I don't know what I did with it, but we're gonna put these little ribs, see them little ribs off that little hog? We're gonna put them little ribs out here on the smoke. I like to season both sides of it up good. We got it ground up, so we're gonna be making some sausage here in a minute. I put that, I use that for them wild hog. Daddy's rub, pretty good. But that Kaneka rub right here is the best. You ain't gonna get no butter in that right there, I'm gonna tell you. That right there is delicious. I know my kitchen's a mess, but hey, that's what happens when you get in here and you do all this work. Anybody shot any pigs this year? I'd like to know if you have. Just let me know, we're gonna put a little bit more in here. We're gonna put these suckers on that grill. Before we get through with the video here, I'm gonna go out there and show you what they look like while they're cooking. But 
Y'all hang on, let me go get these on the grill and we'll get back to making some sausage and I'll show you how Grandpa makes his sausage. All right, first thing you want to do after you get that old thing cut up good, you want to come in here and you want to clean up the meat. This is all cut up meat off that pig, got some back strap, tenderloin, the roast, the neck. That is everything on him but the ribs. This old plantation sausage mix right here, it'll do about 30 pounds of sausage for one mix. You want to be sure you clean up good. And I always recommend bleaching your sink out real good on both sides. Before you start any meat pro 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 uh, project, I'll get it out in a minute. Uh, that way you cut down on contamination. But you want to be sure it's rinsed down real good. Some people use a colander. I'm old school. I use the sink. But, uh, Y'all don't throw away these hogs. I'm out here, a lot of, see a lot of people on Facebook talking about how these hogs ain't no good to eat. Well, I got news for you. These suckers are the best hogs you're ever going to get. I'm going to get this finished cleaning up. We'll get her in a bowl. We're going to start processing. All right, I got all the meat cleaned up and got it done. I'm going to show you all some of the grinding process. I ain't going to take you through the whole thing, but show you bits and pieces. This meat, a wild hog has a lot of natural fat in it. We add some chunks of fat off from him. You can add the fat off the hog into your meat too. Uh, but you can't with deer meat. Deer meat's fat's just nasty. So let's get on with some of this grinding. Y'all don't need to see me. I'm gonna put you on the process right there where you can see what's going on and we'll get back with y'all in a minute and I'm gonna show you how to do the sausage. But here's some of the grinding process. <laughs> Yeah. 
get this done. We got a lot of grinding to do. When we get this done right here, I'll show you how to make sausage. So, y'all hang tight. Be right back. All right, we got the meat grind up. Look at it, ain't that pretty? Let's see. That's a pretty bowl. Look at that big old bowl of meat. We're going to put it here on the scales. I'm going to tilt y'all down. You don't need to see my ugly mug. Let's see how much she weighs. And part of the way you meet. Let's see. You see that? 13.4 pounds. Or 13. Well, that's 13.3 it looks like. 13.3. So, the old, plan, uh, old plantation sausage mix right here. Uh, as you can see, I do 25 pounds of meat. And if I had a deer, I'd mix some deer with that, but I ain't got a deer yet. Uh, anyhow, we're going to put about half this bag in it. And uh, we're going to show you how I mix it up. We're going to do a taste test, and then we'll go from there. How about that? All right, we're back. I'm going to show you how I mix it. Uh, you don't need to see my old mug, so we're going to put you down here in the pot. How about that? Y'all see that? We're going to take an old plantation sausage mix here. We're going to just sprinkle a good bit in there for a minute, like that. Be generous with it. This is uh, cayenne pepper. You can put anything you want in yours. Jalapeno. Cayenne pepper. You can lay the pepper out whatever you like to do. I, I don't measure nothing, so it's going to be up to you. And we add a little sage to it. Okay? Put the sage to it. To me, <coughs> other than me choking the devil, it's cayenne pepper. Sage don't, uh, <coughs> it don't, uh, it adds to it, y'all. Y'all bear with me. <coughs> Woo! I went up east and I screwed. Y'all gonna get a bloops and blunder video from me one of these days. I do enough blooping online on when I'm on here, but I just mix it up with my hand like that. And I get the way I want it done. Like this here. And uh, that's the way we do it. I kinda pick it up give it a whiff and it ain't where I want it, I add more stuff to it. I know I gotta add a half a pack of this in it to begin with. So, I mean, that's, that's your sausage mix there. That's your give and take. I'm gonna add just a hair bit more sage. Like this. And I'm gonna add this a little more cayenne. Like that. Stir up some more. Didn't get in there ugly with it. <coughs> it kills you, but woo! I need my corona mask on for this done. Yeah, you're talking about it. Color fixing. Sneaky. <coughs> Y'all hang on. Lord of mercy. Hey look, grandpa cut videos what hilarious. Y'all wouldn't watch them. Alright, now, really and truly what I'm gonna do with this meat after we get it all set the way we want it. I'm, I got another refrigerator out in the garage. I use for the freer side of it for making ice for my fishing, to go fishing. Uh, I'm bringing y'all a video on that one these days. I think I already got one on it where you can take an old refrigerator. It's got an ice maker and you can make yourself an ice machine out of it. Works real good. Alright, I'm going to let that set right there a second. Mama's cooking chili over here behind the homemade chili, so we're gonna spin it. Oh, I can't breathe. We're gonna spin. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Woo. We're gonna take this and I'm gonna cook a little bit of it. We're gonna try it and see if it's right. You wanna be sure it's right before you put it to chill before you make it. So hang on with me. All right, I got one of these patties with cheese in it. What is that? Mozzarella, mama. I want to do something with some cheese in it. Got one little patty with some cheese, see? Okay? And one patty without cheese. We're gonna put it on this old hot skillet here and just get y'all down here. We're gonna give it a test run and see if it's gonna be any good. Y'all ready? One, two, 
going in and crooked. All right. I'm making that with a T, a little B. But this is a test run on the meat, on what it tastes like, and uh, what it'll be like whenever it gets done. Should cook up real easy. Got a lot of fat in it. Let's give it about a second and uh, let it cook for a few minutes and I'll be right back with y'all. Alright, she's getting better and better here. Chili smelling good in that big pot, Momo. I'm glad that cheese looks pretty. Mike should have added a little bit more fat off that old pig. He ain't got a lot of grease. See all them wild hogs, they don't have a lot of grease, so sometimes you have to add butter or olive oil to your skillet when you cook it. That way it don't stick. Let's give it a few more minutes. We're still cooking on some little piggy press. Ain't that cute? That's some of the juice out of it. Close. I'm cooking just a little while longer. I'm gonna drag them up out there. All right, everybody, I think they're ready. They look ready. That's the one without cheese. And out there's the one with cheese. Let's cut it into each one of them. Surely I get my seasoning pretty right. I don't know. Maybe I should take it right. Hot? Oh, yeah, she's hot. That's the fourth thing. Maybe we can check us out there. Here we go. There's more more. Okay, Gail. Yeah. You're doing it all. Pretty good. Yep. One more camera shot, y'all. I don't know why. Look at that. I always somebody's going to call on the phone. Mmm, -hmm. man. Good. There ain't nothing like a, a wild pig. That's our grandpa. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, okay. Mm -mm. Right, that right there? Oh, okay. That's the way. So that's what it was like with the cheese. You didn't do the cheese, the jalapeno, and all that. Mmm, it's good. Well, that's the way Papa makes it. Wild hog. Y'all well, remember, take a kid fishing, take a kid hunting. That's what we're supposed to do. Y'all get your hunting pictures in. We're giving away skull mount. So, hey, that's what we do. Till next time, Grandpa got me. Go!